Let's continue to focus on this macabacus section of the ribbon, in particular the shape section. We have the ability to swap out the position of shapes. We can base the swap on a number of different positions. Top left anchor, top right anchor, for example. Let's use this example, top left anchor. We have marked on these two shapes the top left anchor using these dotted lines. If we wish to swap out the positions of these objects, we click on the first one, then control click the second one. We go up to here, Macabacus, and we're going to swap the positions. Let's click top left anchor, and instantly they swap positions. Let's now reset our diagram. What we've done now is we've marked the top right corner of each of these shapes, just to demonstrate that we could now swap them out based on the position of that top right corner. Again, let's select the first shape and then control select the second. We're gonna go up to this part of the menu and we're gonna say swap positions, top right anchor. Let's click it and instantly they've swapped positions based on that new anchor point. For this final demonstration, we'd like to swap out the positions of these two shapes based on their center points. As you can see with the dotted lines, we've marked the center point of each shape. We can select the first shape, control select the second shape, and then go up to Macabacus. Under swap positions, we wanna to go to center anchor. Let's click that. And as you can see really quickly, these two shapes have been swapped out based on their center position. It's so great to know that these tools exist in Macabacus. After all, the ability to swap out the position of objects is something that we just can't do in a standard installation of PowerPoint. Using these types of functions is gonna save us so much time. If you're enjoying these tips and would like to see more of our content, please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for your support and we'll see you soon in the next video.